Okay, so we are ready to perform the plasmolysis lab today. We have our lab sheet, looks like this, cell transport plasmolysis in onion cells. We've got our answer sheet, so this is the lab directions, this is the answer sheet. We have everything ready to go. We're going to use a red onion today. We've got a little bit of regular distilled water, salt water, we have our slide, and then this fancy microscope. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start right here at step number one. We're gonna make a wet mount of our red onion epidermis using distilled water, but we're not gonna use a cover slip because we wanna see this in action. And if we put a cover slip, then we're not gonna be able to take and uh, use salt water right after that. So I'm gonna make the wet mount. First thing I'm gonna do is take the little red onion, and this time I want a piece of the outside because I want it to be red. Okay, so do you see this piece right here where it's white? I have a little piece of the epidermis in my hand. It looks like this. I'm gonna put that on my slide and then add a, um, a drop of water or so. So now I'm gonna take the distilled water, add a couple of drops to the epidermis. Probably do two. It's floating a little bit, so I may wanna push it down, make sure it's... Okay, and now without a cover slip, I'm going to focus this. So I'm gonna use the stage clip, pull that back, put the microscope slide, but now I'm gonna come over here, use the stage adjustment knobs right here to make sure that that's centered. See, so I'm gonna go like this, center it over the field of view, and now using the coarse adjustment knob, this one is the coarse adjustment knob, I'm gonna look through the eyepiece and bring my stage up. Watch how the stage moves as I as I do this. See yeah, how the stage is coming up until I find something. So I have it focused on 10x. Now I know the directions say right here it says to switch to high power, but we're not gonna do that because we're not using a cover slip. So I want you guys to make your drawings on low power. So your total magnification is gonna be 100X, not 400X, okay? So we have it on the 10X objective times the 10 for the eyepiece is 100X. So this is what you're gonna draw. You're gonna choose a couple of these, like maybe three to four cells. You might wanna pause so you can see it, but you're gonna draw three to four of these beautiful little cells that are nice and turgid. You might want to push pause so you can get the image. There you go. So that's what you're going to draw for the indistilled water. So you're going to draw your three to four cells off to the left over here so that you can label if there is anything to label and it looks like according to the directions you're going to be labeling cell wall and cell membrane. So make sure to include a title, your total magnification, and your drawing over here. Shade it the color that you see it in the video using colored pencils, okay? All right, so now we're ready to take some salt water and try to plasmalize these plant cells. So the first thing we wanna do is take a Kleenex. We have Kleenex at the table. Absorb some of the water from the slide. So we're gonna take the distilled water off. And now we're gonna take a pipette and add some salt water to that. First thing I wanna do is kind of move my objective out of the way. So now I take some salt water and I'm just gonna add some salt to make them perform plasmolysis. Now I need to wait two to three minutes, so I'm gonna turn the video off and, and wait. So I have them focused one more time. We're using 10X this time and they have definitely plasmalized Look at the difference in appearance. You're gonna to wanna to push pause so you can see. All the white spaces that you see in there, that's where the water has left the red onion cells to the external environment. So the cell membrane has kind of pulled in, not the cell wall, the cell wall maintains rigid structure but the cell membrane is pulled in, the vacuoles are emptied out. A lot of those big circles you see in the middle are the vacuoles that are empty now. So choose two, uh, about two to three, three to four cells, probably three would be good, and make a drawing of that one. Okay, so you're gonna put that drawing over here and put that one in salt water and give me your total magnification. Okay, as soon as you make your drawings and you color them, you need to answer the analysis questions right here. You can go ahead and answer them on the bottom and you can continue on the back if you need to. 
and then you'll take a picture of your answers and upload those to Schoology.